Hey, all you Clovers, it's Phoebe, and I have some great updates to our avatar editor. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. All right, so here I have my 3D window and I've got my avatar in it. And as you can see, her breasts are already a different shape. So this is going to be all about the breasts. So just, just so you guys know, all right, get ready for it. The word will be said a few times. So here my avatar and I'm going to go to avatar editor. And here my avatar editor, I have a new section. It's called breast and it's underneath the shaping. So this is all about breast shaping, which is really exciting because now you're going to be able to adjust it and create different shaped breasts for your avatar so that it can be more realistic, especially when fitting. And just so you all know, yes, this will work with soft body avatar. So when you adjust your breast shape and then you turn on soft body avatar, you will see that adjustment. So that's fun. So here I'm just going to show you quickly what the different options are under breasts. So you have your shaping, which is round or teardrop It is exactly what you think. Round is more of a ball shape. Teardrop is more of a teardrop shape. And I don't know a better way to explain it. So here, if I move my slider all the way over to round, you'll start to see that it come is like rounded out more almost more like a ball and if i move it all the way over to teardrop it becomes dropped and like there's a little point there's like not really a point but it points towards the top a little bit more and then of course you can play around and not and have it like a little bit of a round more of a teardrop you know it's all based off of what you want it to be you also can choose spacing so you can decide if you want them the breasts to become really close so there's very narrow space in between or you can choose to have a little bit more of a wider separation between the two and a little more space between you can also do medium whichever you like and then finally you have height so this is deciding on if it should be higher up on the body or lower on the body. Basically, how long has gravity been hitting this woman? So maybe high or lower. Maybe also just like where the breasts sit on the body. It might be lower more or maybe the breasts sit a little bit higher more. Lots of different things, you know? Every woman's body is a little different, so you can adjust it however you'd like it. These are some fun facts to know, though, about this. If you turn and show on all measurements over here, and when you're adjusting these shapes, you'll see that actually these measurements do adjust with it. So your apex to apex and high point shoulder to apex will adjust based off of the measurements. Uh, based off of what you're adjusting in this shaping, you can kind of see it happening here, live. If you, though, do decide to start editing and you want to put in your own measurement for your breasts, that means that the shaping will not affect that measurement. But it will affect the shape of the breast. What that means is we are not going to change your measurement because that is the measurement you put in, but the avatar might have to change to get the shaping that you're asking for. So for apex to apex, if I put in seven, and then I, if I put high point shoulder for 11, I don't know, maybe drop them. But then over here, I decided that I wanted to heighten it actually more. If I selected this measurement, I see that there's a discrepancy, right? When I select this to see it, my measurement still says 11, but there is a discrepancy. We're telling you 11 is the measurement you put in, but you then asked to shape it. So we do need to adjust the breast and the body's measurement to account for the shaping that you asked for. But we also wanted you to know what the measurement you put in for it is but you'll have all the information you need on that avatar. 
So whenever you need to know something, the avatar will hold it for you for you to know. So don't worry, you'll always be able to find it. And if you don't love that, then you can always uncheck them and then go back. And when you adjust it, it will automatically adjust for you and change and make those changes here. So all, all these possibilities are open to you now and you can have some really great adjustments and some much more realistic avatars in your future. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use the comment section. Somebody will get back to you. If you have any more like interest in learning about avatars or any part of Clo, check out our channel. It's got tons of great information. And don't forget to like and subscribe because there's so much for you to follow and learn. Thanks again for watching and keep having fun in Clo.